How's it going everybody? I'm back again on No Man's Land. I've only got £959 as you can see and what's happened is I was playing around with the silos over here in the grain storage and I was just checking around and I noticed that this one here has got canola in it and this one here has got oats in it. So I was thinking, jackpot, can make some money here. So I got the trailer, hooked it up to the tractor, it wouldn't move at all. Completely bossed, unrepairable, so I had to sell it. I got about £300 for it, and then I bought this trailer. This trailer's weird as well, It's it's got a lot of mileage on it, but it works. I've tested it, and it's fine. So what I did is I filled it up with the canola that we've got and then I also filled the small one that was working anyway with the oats that we got. And we've got a little bit of oats left. So the plan today is get some of the money back, go and sell it and then also we're going to get a spreader, preferably cheap one whatever money you've got left and we need to pick up some wine. So I'm gonna get going. Right, and so we're pretty lucky, there's only one cell point. Definitely not complaining. You never know, we might have a bit of money left for a mower. Right, we got paid 4,673 for that, which brings our total to 14,000. Over the moon with that. It means we can do a lot with this now. Obviously the plan is, we need a spreader, we need some lime. We also need a front loader and some attachments for that. So we'll see what we can do with the money we've got. 
we're not looking for anything brand new. We'll buy some second hand equipment, but we want it in good working order and we want it to be reliable because we're going to try and get the most we can out of each piece of equipment. So what we'll do now is I'll get in the pickup truck and we'll go down to the shop, pick up the line, stick it in the back of the truck. to clean this car. It's a fast one this is. Especially since it's had its service. Right, so that's where we get fuel. That looks like it might be the animal dealer. This must be the showroom. There we go. Wow, it's the fanciest thing around. Right, so we'll have a look around and we'll see what we can get. Yeah, we can drive things in here to repair. It's a great idea. Hey look, it's our machinery. Nice. Right, then. so let's have a gander. Right, so it's £12 a bag, 50 litres in each bag probably need 500 so we'll get 10 bags which will be 120 pound what I've done is I've loaded them all in now I got two extra I got 12 in the end I thought get some extra ones just in case I'll just put some straps on here so the worst doesn't happen get going. Okay, so now I'm just thinking where to store these. Where's the best place to store these? Right, so the last one in the shed. I know it's not the neatest pile, but it'll do. We're going to use it up anyway, so. We'll part this up. back again so we're looking for yeah a good spreader reasonably priced for what we need we've only got a small field but reliable so what have we got on offer right so I found this it's 850 quid it's got a 10 meter spread it'll do the job for what we need we can also put fertilizer in it so it's a two and one yeah I think it's perfect for what we need so we'll grab that. It's going to be the newest and shiniest thing on the farm. Alright, I feel like we're progressing, we're doing well. Okay, so we'll just park this up in the shed.
Right, so I've brought over six line bags, which will be 300 litres. This has a capacity of 400 litres. So I'll just tip them in now. Okay, so I'm just about to put the last bag in. There we go. So that should be enough for what we need. I mean, we're about two thirds full. Maybe a little bit less, but we'll see how it goes. But we've got more if needed. Okay, then, so it's about two and a half hours later. I um, got a pallet of lime delivered, it's just been dropped off so, and I've also while I was waiting I was playing around with the spray rate on the back of here. What happened was I got it set just completely wrong, I set it so it was coming out too much, too quick, you can get a better even spread. So we'll fill it back up. Hopefully it'll start spraying better now. It's coming out a lot more consistent now. We're getting an even spread, which is what we're after. Checking the lights work on it. Getting a bit dark now. Okay, so that's completed, lined up, the next job will be to cultivate it. When we've cultivated it, we'll have to leave it until the temperature rises a little bit before we start planting our selected crop.
Horse in good condition. Map with that. I feel like we've done a lot today. So I'm happy. This up here. Things are definitely looking better on that field. As soon as the temperature's right, we'll plant the seed. We'll pick what crop we're going to do. Right, so I'm going to leave the video here. Thanks for watching enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you can and also subscribe for more see you next time